going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're on a fantastic day today. And today we have massive unboxing number 54 for you all. I already hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video as today it's gonna be a little bit different than usual with all these one to 200s, but I'll explain that throughout the video as they have some really awesome meaning. With that being said, let's just go ahead and get started and we'll dive into it through today's unboxing everybody. Alrighty everybody, let's go ahead and get started. So our first aircraft here today is really cool coming from Spot LEX. We have this beautiful Phoenix Models 1 to 400 skill Kuwait Airbus A330 800 Neo. So very excited about this aircraft for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, this comes from my good friend JC. So thank you for selling me this buddy. I really appreciate it. Second as well, this is my first A330 800 Neo. And third, this is my first Kuwait aircraft. So really adding a really cool new wide body to the collection. It will be great at great planes, literally. And I'm really excited for it so let's just go ahead and get into it airbus a330 800 neo you got the background there with the blue sky here's the cgi kuwait airways the registration is november uh, it's nine kilo alpha papa gulf it's a platinum series aircraft like every phoenix release but this one's really cool i think it came out in like oh i don't know early 2023 maybe or so i'm not exactly sure but anyway looking quite cool here with the back of the box limited edition once again so let's not waste any further time and go ahead and get into the aircraft really excited about this i think it's going to be a really great addition here to the collection now it does have a little bit of a bent up wing tip but i will work on that that's going to be a pretty easy fix Otherwise, it is in really good shape. I don't even think you can really notice it anyway, but here it is, the Kuwait Airbus A330 800 Neo. It was, a, I'm sorry, paint chip on the winglet, but not a huge deal. We'll just put it on the other side and look at it that way. But anyway, super excited for this. First A330 800 Neo is looking wonderful. And here it is, everybody, the Kuwait Airbus A330 800 Neo by Phoenix Models. A really good looking model right here. I'm very excited to have it as it's quite unique. So excited to dive into this. What are we waiting for? Let's just go ahead and get right into it, guys. Alrighty, everybody, let's go ahead and get started. So here's the cockpit windows with the raccoon mask looking quite nice. I think Phoenix did a really good job on the A330 Neo mold. We have the Azul one that we had from last year, got last year rather. Now we have this one, so you can really see the nose, very nice design, they did really well. You got the various panels throughout here and you got their flag as well. And then you can see right here, we got the L1 door along with the nose landing gear, which is pretty cool. Then you got the antenna with the stubby Wi-Fi box. So really good job on the design of that and making it proportional and whatnot. Now again, the 3800 Neo, as you would expect, is shorter than the 900 Neo. So, so it's substantially shorter, in fact. It, even I would probably be shorter in a 77-8 comp. So that's pretty cool to think about. But anyway, you got the second door that comes up really fast there in the Kuwait billboard titles with a very interesting font, but it looks pretty cool. Here's the wing route. Also very interesting to note that it's like literally just goes halfway through. So that's kind of interesting, but you got the engines as well. They're very capable. I think the A330 Neos have really impressive range. So you can see those engines right there with the blue on them looking quite nice. And you also see the fan blades as well looking pretty strong too. So Apologies that the angle's not the best, but you can definitely get a good view of that. But there's the leading edge of the wing there with the slats, and then you get the flaps and speed brakes back there. And you get the main landing gear, which on the Phoenix mold is pretty interesting because of how big the bogey is, but we ain't complaining about that too much. That's not too big of an issue, just an observation. Again, a little bit beat, bit up, uh, excuse me, a little beat up on the winglet there, but that's not a huge deal. But then you can see as well as you get the L3 door. That takes us into the back antennas along with the Wi-Fi box back here too. So all that's really nice. And you got the beautiful navy color that looks really cool. The registration is nine kilo alpha Papa Gulf like we talked about. So very cool to reiterate that tail number once again and you get the beautiful blue back here so you get that navy leading up to that mid-tone blue and then again fairly simple livery but there is enough character here to make it interesting which is pretty important so all that looks nice you got the horizontal stabilizers apu all those details that one would expect to see from a wide body from phoenix models right side is very simple you don't have any other additional details but all of it looks quite nice with the cargo door and what you'd expect Again, I got to work on the winglets, but that will be fairly simple. Top of the aircraft, you got some very good details up there. So glad to see all those. They look really nice. Bottom's awesome. You got three antennas down there. How impressive is that? That might be the first aircraft I've seen three on for a 1 to 400. That's really, really impressive and very cool. You got the Kuwait titles underneath the registration caddy corner on both wings. Overall, super impressed with this model from Phoenix. This will be a quality addition to add at Great Plains, and I'm really excited to get it in there and see what it's all about. So great addition. Super glad to have this, and this is yet another awesome pickup here for the airport as this will definitely be huge in the expansion projects going on there. 
Alrighty everybody, next up we have this Gemini Jets Interjet Everest A321 Neo. So a huge thank you to Aviation LES for gifting me this one. This was really nice of him to do and excited that another unique piece to the collection here. This will definitely be an interesting piece to utilize at some point somewhere. So excited to see what we can do with it. So it's another nice Gemini Jets release. I think it might be like a 2017 or so somewhere back there. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is a 2019, so actually a little bit later than I anticipated. So that's cool. Before Interjet obviously went under during the pandemic at some point. There's the information there and then you can see the aircraft in here so we are missing an antenna but that's not really the point just wanted to clarify that yes i am aware of that anyway though i think the rest of the aircraft should be in pretty good shape so let's go ahead and take a look at it as you can tell it's quite a nice looking aircraft so this one will prove powerful for the years to come and here it is everybody, the Interjet Airbus A321 Neo. Another really cool model to add to the collection right here. Very excited to have it and it should be really cool. So let's dive into it. Alrighty guys, let's get into this. So here's the cockpit windows along with the nose cone. Very interesting to look back at an aircraft that's already five years old in 2019, that's crazy. Got the panel right here along with the L1 door and you got the nose landing gear. You got where the antenna would be of course and you got the Interjet billboard title. So pretty simple livery, but you do have some cool cheat stripes including the curves on the kind of ocean blue color almost. Then you got the navy and then of course you got the gray so all those look really nice and definitely glad to see that you got the l2 and l3 doors here instead of the overwing exits so definitely noteworthy here on the internet 321 neo you also got the engine which is kind of tough to see there so here's a little bit better view it's a dark blue navy color so it still looks pretty nice though so cool to see it right there along with the pipeline and then you got the slats slaps and feed brake speed brakes so very cool to see that main landing gear also look quite nice so definitely cool to see those very nice and then you got some really great details back here, including the back two antennas along with the Wi-Fi box. Registrations, hotel, or sorry, X-ray Alpha Mike Alpha Papa looks like. Can't quite see it, but somewhere in that ballpark. So nice to see that. And then you get the beautiful logo there on the tail along with the APU, horizontal stabilizers, and all the rest of the features that one would like to see. So that's definitely really cool right there. Right side of the aircraft's also very nice. You got the cargo doors and all of what you would expect for a Airbus narrow body from Gemini Jets, which honestly, once again, it's grown on me. I mean, obviously we've had thoughts about it in the past, but you know, I can get past it at this point. And they did a good job on the livery, so that's a huge plus here. You got the really great detail underneath the wings as well. That's really cool. And the stand hole in the Gemini Jets logo. So a very cool model. Very glad to have it. Thank you, LAS. Very much appreciated and excited for what's to come here in the fleet of our 1 to 400 aircraft, no doubt about it. However, before we get to that 1 to 400 aircraft, we have our first 1 to 2 air, uh, 200 aircraft of the day, excuse me. So, really excited about this one, and then we'll get into the rest of the 1 to 200. So, this one was independent, but I'll explain a little bit more coming up. So, this is actually the NG Models 1 to 400 scale United Express CRJ200 Blue Tulip. So, this is my first CRP Redemption aircraft, and it's really cool that it has the sticker on there and all of the information, so that's really cool. But anyway, here you can see it's the CRJ200. This one's always caught my eye, and it's always been on clearance, but it was 55 points which was an awesome value so i immediately snagged it the only one that i got from the last window and i think the next time they'll do it maybe will be i think it was december when they said so definitely excited for next time but anyway really cool box right here looks quite nice and we got the plastic wrapping on it too so yeah i'm eager to see what this program is all about obviously it is really great value to be able to get these aircraft for only points and then the shipping along with any other fees which i did have one come up on this i think it was the shipping from ng to dg pilot who i used for this purchase or uh, sorry for the shipping so obviously you know it is what it is i've seen many opinions on it especially for the connectivity and getting these models to the collectors which i completely agree with and understand however it is undeniably amazing value to be able to get one of these aircraft for under 15 dollars total which is really good i think i paid like 14 for this one so obviously you know it's not completely free but it's definitely a huge value and you can't deny that part of it and you were gonna have to pay shipping from the retailer to yourself in most cases anyway so what i would like to see though moving forward is perhaps if you got it from your favorite retailer they could combine it with other orders that are being shipped i think that would be really cool and i would still be fine with paying the shipping from ng to the retail in that case but i think if they could combine it with other orders moving forward that would be cool but anyway i'm really excited this box is very cool crj 200 registration once again it's november 923 sierra whiskey and i think this will be really cool this is my second ng crj 200 i have the air canada one that my mom was very nice to get for my uh, for christmas last year so now we add the united to go with it so it does come with another crp card what i that is so goofy why would you send a crp card if you've already this is a redemption for that i don't even know what to say about that but that's fine that's kind of cool so here's the model but for 55 points i mean obviously i was going to buy the models anyway so this is just added on value and let's just go ahead and take a look at it no stand of course because of its size 
and there it is what a nice looking aircraft that was definitely worth the 15 dollars to get that shipped in that is super cool and will be quite a nice asset and does have a stand tool so that's really cool so with that said let's go ahead and take a look and here it is everybody the ng models one the 400 or one the 200 scale now excuse me united express crj 200 in the blue tulip livery a really nice looking aircraft my first one the 200 united regional jets actually a older aircraft which is kind of cool so excited to continue to expand the one 200 collection that will definitely be the theme of the day moving into this video so with that being said let's go ahead and dive into it everyone Alrighty guys, let's get started. So here's the cockpit windows, which as we've talked about previously are very nicely detailed on all NG1-200 offerings. So no exception here, along with the precision of the nose cone, which is really great here. I really like how they got all the radar domes and all that really nice and outlined. That's really great. Windshield wipers, and you got the nose landing gear there, which is also great. You can see the additional details, including the livery stripes. So you got the lighter blue on top of the darker blue, which is really cool. You got the Star Alliance logo along with the L1 door, 50 seats in the CRJ-200. So you got both antennas. I think this is a Skywest aircraft, so that's what this is going to say. And no diversity there inside the cabin, just 50 economy seats, as you would expect. Very short flights for the most part on these planes. Here's the emergency exit door along with the arrow to escape, so very nice. Also a fairly decent weight. It's not light, but it's also not heavy, so that's nice. You got the leading edge light right there, and then you got the flap slat and speed brake detail. Very good. I'm sure the newer molds have even more detail, so excited to get a 757, 1200 or equivalent from NG and see what those are all about. Got the main landing gear too, and I think they roll. Uh, yes, they do. So they do roll. So that's a nice, nice feature for sure. You got the stand hole there, along with the baggage door underneath there. You can see that the beautiful CF34 engine variant. That then takes us on to the US flag. In the registration is November 923 Sierra Whiskey. So yet very cool once again in that blue tulip tail, which is really cool. I think they've called it rising blue as well. So that's nice. So very cool to see that. And overall, that's really nice. Panning over to the right side of the aircraft, you can see the similar features, but you get the R1 door and the Star Alliance logo in some different placements now. But again, really nice on the blue color. The winglets also have a nice blue, and you got the antennas all throughout as well, along with every other feature that one would expect to see here as well. Top of the aircraft is very nice, so that's definitely really cool to see. The bottom, similar features, but you got all the markings and panels in all those additional details. Very excited to have this. I think this will be a quality addition for many years to come. Overall, it's a really nice effort by NG. I think they did really well. And once again, excited to see what it's all about. So very excited about that. Also the Sears clouds, very inconsistent in its gaps. So apologies that there may be a little bit of shade coming up, but I'll do my best to kind of paste out the video as well. So we can get some sun here as well. That being said, let's go on to some very special models. So my parents were super nice to surprise me with some birthday models, which I wasn't expecting it to be this elaborative, which was very nice of them to do that. So thank you so much to them for doing this. And once again, I was not expecting it at all so the fact that they made this much effort and thought about it this much was so nice of them so i really appreciate them doing this let's just go ahead and get started so they must have been watching some sort of my videos or heard me talking or i think they may have asked one time about you know what models i'd get if i was picking some and i at some point they found out that i was doing that one the 400 european airport feel free to check out that first update if you want to but they saw that i was lacking a lot aircraft so they got me a lot 737 max 8 with the special proud livery on it the poland independence livery which was so nice of them to do and i really appreciate them doing this all of you know how excited i am to add a lot aircraft to my fleet i don't have one so this will be great for new forest and obviously any other projects that come up in the future so that being said let's just go ahead and jump into it and a huge thank you to them for all of what's coming up jc wings released on this one here's the lot logo proud proud of poland's independence which is a really great livery and honestly this is going to be a really nice model I've talked about these in the release reactions. Now they have that double antenna and all that. So this will be quite a cool one. And I think they ordered from Panda Fox. So makes sense why they were able to come across this aircraft. So again, a huge thank you to them as we dive into this. It was really nice of them to do this. I already probably have too many models as it is, but I can't help it. It's really fun to collect these. And I work every single day, eight to five. $15 an hour. So I am fortunate to be able to get these aircraft fairly regularly, but obviously it's ones like this that obviously I wouldn't be able to normally get. So that being said, here it is right here. The lot 737 MAX 8 in one the 400s go with the Poland Independence livery. It's a really nice looking plane. I think they did a really good job. You know, obviously it's not to the quality of NG, but that's not really the point. The point is that it's still really nice. I mean, excluding the engine angle and all that, it really is a really high quality aircraft and they did a really good job on the printing in the livery. So it looks great. It's gonna be a great addition to the collection. What are we waiting for? Let's just go ahead and get started on the look and hopefully we get a little bit of sun at some point so you 
can get a little bit better view of it, but for now, this is more than sufficient. Okay, here we go in the Lot 737 Max 8. We get the pencil here. So you can tell you got the cockpit windows right here. Hopefully the camera's level, that looks pretty good. Cockpit windows, and you got the nose cone right here. Some sort of sticker right here, can't quite tell what it is, but then you got the Star Alliance logo. And you got the nose landing gear here, which is definitely adequate, so cool to see that. You got the L1 door, and then of course, you got all of the red there to represent lot Poland's independence, excuse me. So I think this is a really cool purpose slippery and glad that they're implementing this one for sure. A lot Polish Airlines and you'll have some first class up here. Then you got some additional seating with the Economy Plus followed by Economy. I flew a lot from Warsaw to, excuse me, Stockholm to Warsaw and it was awesome on their E195. And it was a special livery too, which is even more ironic. It was the candy bar. I'm forgetting what it, the name is, but it was super fun. You got the antenna right here, and then you got the LEP engines, and you got the LOT logo on that too, so that's pretty impressive. They left the wing alone on this, which is kind of cool, so you got that beautiful LOT logo, and you got the flap slat and speed brake detail. Really great detail here on the JC Wings Max wing mold. I think it's really great. The wing portion of the mold, excuse me. Anyway, you got the antenna there as well, but you have the two underneath antennas, which is super cool. I'm very happy to see that implemented, and I think it's a really great feature. So, wonderful job here by JC Wings for adding that and really competing there in the aerial aspect of these model aircraft. The red gets bigger and bigger as we come to the back here with the Wi-Fi box and one more antenna. And you can see it says, proud of Poland's independence, which is big. So awesome to see that I have a special livery to represent this wonderfully. The registration Sierra Papa Lima Victor Delta, and you get the Boeing 737 Max 8 titles, and you get the beautiful Lot Tell as well. Lot's a very unique airline. They have a really cool operation at the Warsaw Airport in Poland. I think they have a really nice fleet of aircraft. This side, you also have that really cool red line around it. So that's pretty cool. That actually might be the Poland outline of the country. I could be wrong. Anyway, though, the sun is coming in just in time. Come on, give me a little bit more break. Want to get as much light on there as we can. So what a nice looking aircraft and overall it looks really great. So I'm going to zoom it out here and see if we can get just a nice overview of this aircraft with a little bit of light on it. So all of you can see what we're talking about. This is a really great looking plane. And once again, very excited to have it in the fleet and it will be a very powerful asset for many years to come. That being said, we're on to the rest of these being one 200s. Again, I can't thank my parents enough for doing it. It was more than what I was expecting, but it was very nice of them to get all these aircraft. So I'm really excited to dive into all these and I don't really think that we need to waste any more time waiting on it. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the rest of these. And we have a little bit of light, so I'll go ahead and bring Poland back one more time here on the Lot 737 Max 8. You can see a little bit better, but when we have some sun, I'll bring that back so you can get a little better view of it. Okay, let's get started. So they knew that I was lacking my Delta 1-200 fleet. I just have a handful of MD-80s. I think I have two that are fully intact over there. So I don't have any other narrow bodies. And this is a great one. The Delta Airlines Airbus A220-300 by Gemini 200. So again, I mean, I've got more 1-200s recently, but I didn't think that they were gonna emphasize it this much to where they got three of them, especially being not just regionals. I mean, these are full on main lines and one of these is a wide body. So I just I can't believe it. But yeah, this is great to have this right now and very feeling very fortunate. So with that being said, this is a great addition. I've been wanting to get one. The 717 was probably my first pick, but that's besides the point. I just had the other Breeze A220, so it'll be great to add the Delta one, and it's a great looking plane. The mold's fantastic. So this is gonna be an awesome addition to the clutch, and I'm really excited for this. So let's go ahead and get started. We got Gemini 200 right here, got the Delta titles, AT20, but yeah, I mean, compared to some other aircraft like the 737 or whatever, the 220 was definitely one of the top three I probably would have picked if I had the choice. So they did a wonderful job matching those desires. And again, I'm not sure how they did such a good job, but they did. So feeling very fortunate once again. Okay, so here we go. So we got the tripod stand, of course. So let's go ahead and get that out and put that together. This aircraft's not gonna take much assembling to do, which is great because we obviously want to keep the consistent flow, but you can tell we can put this tripod stand in here, which these aren't the best. I wouldn't recommend using them if you have several one the 200s. I'm guilty though, so I can't speak too much on that. But anyway, there it is, the Delta A220-300. This is a great looking plane and feeling very fortunate to have this right now. So yeah, what an awesome looking plane. Let's go ahead and bring that back to the frame. So yeah, this is great. Really awesome looking aircraft. I love the Delta 220. I've not got a chance to fly the Delta 220. I would love to fly the Delta 220. Just need the right opportunity to. I'm not in a great sit geographically situated location to get that accomplished. So it's gonna take a little bit of effort to get to the point where I can do that. But anyway, I'm trying to get this on the stand so we can keep it elevated here for this review portion. But as you can tell, it's a really nice aircraft. Here it is. This camera's gonna have to be 
brought up some so we can see what we're talking about. So yeah, the Delta E2 2300 by Gemini 200. Really good effort by them. I love this mold. Once again, we got that breeze last year, two years ago, I think, whatever it was. And it's a great plane. So this will be just as good and really excited to add this to the collection with all the pieces to the puzzle that it comprises. That being said, we won't waste any additional time and just go ahead and get right into what this aircraft is all about right here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go ahead and get started. Let's make sure that we're fully in the light here as well. We don't get to review 1-200s very often. I'll probably do an individual video for every 1-200 that we got here today. We have five of them, so I'll probably just do like an unboxing once a month for each one just to give it a little bit more of an emphasis, but definitely want to dive into them here. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's the cockpit windows. Once again, really good detail there. They did great with those. You got the pitot tubes up here on the front as well. Then you got the nose landing gear here as well. That looks absolutely wonderful, so cool to see that. You got the Sky Team logo right here. That brings us onto the L1 door. So the amount of detail and precision they have here is wonderful. So cool to see that. That then takes us on here to the stickers. It's Delta's best is the best airline 2023, 2022, all that, which they are a wonderful airline. Price is obviously higher than others, but you can get good deals. I've done that many times. So it is very doable. So stay tuned for more content on how to get good deals on Delta. Here's the billboard titles for them, speaking of which, and then the first class is up here, which appears to be really nice on 220. You got the antennas as well, and then you got the wing root outline here, which is pretty cool that they have that represented so well. Okay, here comes the sun, we love that. So that takes us on to the back antenna right there, which is really nice. Seems a little big, but I could just be my eye right now. Again, it, I'm so used to seeing the one to 400s that it definitely could be out of proportion. So keep that in mind. But anyway, looking quite nice. Let me go ahead and scoot the camera down so we can take a look at the middle of the aircraft. So there's the engine. It's really cool. This is some sort of, I think it's a lab of sorts or Pratt and Whitney rather. I think it's a Pratt and Whitney of sorts. So you got that along with the exhaust and all the other pieces. You got that tripod stand once again, which I need to get it in there a little better, but that's good enough for now. You can see the main landing gear. There are no gear up configurations on the 220. It's just the gear down, which is fine, I would say, for the type of aircraft. Let's go ahead and take a look at that wing a little bit more in detail. So you get the flap slot and speed brakes along with the very, very thin emergency exit pad. So pretty interesting that's that thin. The wing also looks really nice or the shark lid or whatever that's supposed to be called. It looks really nice. So good job there by Gemini for accurately representing that here on the mold. You get the back antennas here, which are fairly proportional they look pretty solid and then the bottom one right here looks really nice so that's great you get the wi-fi box as well the registration of this aircraft is november 305 delta uniform so this was the latest release that they did in one the 200 which is pretty sweet you got the l2 door and then you got the beautiful delta widget tail right there with some phenomenal details so this is really nice to get the note and it looks really nice back there so that's quite cool make sure that that's focusing get the horizontal stabilizers apu all the details you'd want to see and all that looks really nice so definitely really happy to see that need to get the aircraft even here on the stand so you can get a good proportional view right side of the aircraft is just as good you got the baggage door there in the front and then you also got the baggage door in the back too so all that looks really nice as well I thought the aircraft's really great. You got the 3D beacon in the rest of the pieces. So what a nice looking aircraft that is. And the bottom's also really nice. You got the Delta Airlines billboard titles down there, along with a couple more additional panel details, a couple air notes, and the Gemini Jets logo as well. So again, feeling very fortunate to have this aircraft. Very, very nice one. It is super cool. And I'll be eager to see if they implement these more into a Lanta in the future. But whatever the case is, I definitely will now have a different meaning towards the Delta 220 now having this and it's going to be quite an asset for many years to come so once again feeling very fortunate to have it similar to the lot I'll bring back in when we have some better sunlight so don't worry about that too much but that's a great looking plane and again feeling very fortunate to have it here in the collection today with that being said we're going to go into our next aircraft my mom was really excited about this one and rightfully so this is a great aircraft to be excited about that is the uh this is the jc wings one 200 united airlines boeing 757 200 new york new jersey special livery the her art here so yeah i was shocked to see this i was not expecting her to get this one but she did a wonderful job this is a really cool special livery that definitely deserves all the recognition that i can get so yeah I don't have many United and 1200 as well, just the A321 Neo and 737-700. So always excited to add new ones to the 1200 fleet and pretty tough to get duplicates of those. And she definitely rocked it out of the park with this one. So cool to see JC Wings doing this one. This is a really solid mold. So very excited about this. Let's just go ahead and get into the details. Her art here, Boeing 777-200, here's the CGI of the aircraft. New York, New Jersey. It's a 1-200 scale aircraft. And this was designed by Cornell Ants. 
so I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce her name correctly, so I apologize, but I'll show you the illustrations. She did a great job. Here's some of that artwork right there. And cool to see JC Wings recognizing it too, and it definitely deserves to be recognized considering how nice of a livery that it is. So there's the size of the box and the barcode and all of what you would expect on a 1-200. Back's got the CGI backwards, which is pretty cool, but it also has the Statue of Liberty along with the other features of New York, which is a great city, by the way. Finally got the chance to visit for the first couple times this summer, and it was great, so that was awesome. So here it is. There she is she did a really great job on the artwork so there's her website along with the illustrations portion of that as well but it goes into detail there on her talking about it so that's really cool and she definitely spent immense time and effort to make this aircraft a reality so feeling very fortunate to have this and it's going to be absolutely awesome so with that said let's just go ahead and get it out now we do have the gear up for this aircraft so i'm gonna have to put those in there but anyway this is going to be another wonderful aircraft for the fleet and it's going to definitely be one that stands out among others. So that's really exciting. So here's the stand. Let's go ahead and get that out first. It has the United 7200 on it, which is great. And then let's go ahead and get into the actual aircraft itself. Thinking of Aviation j 7 x the one and only. He does what he does, guys. I can't really control it. I'm going to gently set that down on the styrofoam here so I can get these landing gear out. So you do have a gear up and gear down configuration as you'd expect with this aircraft. So let's see here. Can I get it out fast enough so that we don't have to cut the video? Let's see if I can get this done fast enough. So it is a really simple process once you do get them. Here we go. So as you can tell, you just put the main landing gears into their correct sockets. You can kind of visually tell how they're supposed to go on there. So left, and then if it didn't stick to the other landing gear, we got the right, and then actually I got that backwards. Or right, did I? Yes, I did. It happens really quick, you'll see. Or right, did I? No, I, I got those in right, okay. See, it's easy to get messed up when you're mainly a 1-400 collector in a new realm, but I'm very excited about this. And you got the main landing gear as well, which sticks in there really nicely compared to some of the previous offerings. Also, that stand hole is so much better, much easier there on the rubber, and this stand itself is just, 100 times better than the tripod. I understand why Gemini includes the tripod. It's a big money saver for them. But anyway, that's so much better and you can definitely tell that that's meant to be on the stand right there. That's really sweet, guys. So let me go ahead and get the box up and then we'll go ahead and take a look. And here it is, everybody. The JC Wings 1 to 200 scale United Airlines Boeing 777-200 in the Herart here Newark livery. What a great looking aircraft it is. So awesome to represent New York and New Jersey, obviously, here with the various features, Statue of Liberty, Empire State Building, and others. But also getting the New Jersey element of there as well with the farming and all that as well. So this is a really great livery. Very excited to have it. And the model is really nice, honestly. This is much more detailed than I expected with all of what's going on here. So very nice. Just make sure that landing gear is in there real good. So with with that being said, we're not gonna waste any further time. Go ahead and see what this aircraft is all about. Alrighty, everybody, so let's go ahead and get started. So here's the cockpit windows along with the nose cone. The 1 to 200 molds for JC, the majority of them are all pretty much perfect. I mean, you can definitely tell that the effort was put in here with the precision of this aircraft along with the pitot tubes and the radar dome and all of what you would expect. So this is really great and glad to see how nice it is here. So really awesome to see that. Here you have the Starlines logo. You can barely see it, but it's pretty cool. And then quite a few features to go over with this aircraft. So we'll go a little bit slower. Here's the L1 door with the lever. So that's really nice. And then of course you start by having the globe in the middle or shoot i'm sorry i didn't even want to focus on the aircraft i'm so sorry everyone so anyway you can see where it starts the globe the globe in the middle there and then that takes us back over here with the extension this looks like the united states i'm not exactly sure if that is the edge of the united states but it's some sort of piece there but anyway it might be the state of new jersey i'm not sure but anyway you have the like farmhouse here which is very cool you can see the pieces on that so that's really nice and then it gets pretty simple throughout there as we take it into the globe but first we have the first class area which is great and the night billboard title is a very dark blue here to complement what they normally have so that's quite cool for different you get the 3d beacon up there as well which is sweet and then that takes us to the middle of the aircraft. So you can see, again, you got the L2 door right there and then the two antennas, one on top, one on bottom. I also wanna note that the nose landing gear is easy to attach and detach. The magnet's really good on it and that's a great, what's that foam design so really nice there's been some issues with that way back so they've perfected it to this point which is really great so well i say that and then i can't even get it in there but i think it's user error why i can't so let me see if i can do it you got to use a little bit of force which is fine good to get it in there and have it in there which is great okay so the globes in the middle here like we were talking about we get into economy plus there in that area as well you can also see where we have the rb211 engines which are very cool and very capable so let's go ahead and just do a little pan around on that so that's really nice and you also got the beautiful engine as well. That Sears Cloud just needs to move. It's getting closer, but we'll see if we're able to get much sun here towards the end of this. Anyway, 
And that being said, the RB211 is wonderful. Hit the wing as well with the Skimitar winglet, which is really great detail. They were able to nail that down so well. So really great precision. I love the gear tilt as well. That's really good. And they honestly, once again, really proportional. The wing details adequate for sure. You can see all those details along with the emergency exits there as well. So no doubt they did a really good job putting this all together and it looks really nice. So again, you got that globe and then it takes us into the features in New York. But first we got the registration over in 14102. So you got the beautiful bridge and then you got the various skyscrapers of New York, which is great. And then you got the Statue of Liberty, which definitely takes the start of the show there as well. And you got the Empire State Building along with some others. So very cool to see all this on delivery. I think they did a great job incorporating it all. So that's really cool. You got the Wi-Fi box up there as well. And then you got the bottom antenna so all those details are great you got the l4 door there l3 rather on 752 which is great and that looks really nice so really good job by them for keeping the detail up on that aircraft looks great and you get the beautiful united evo blue tail right there that's amazing it looks really great you got the apu horizontal stabilizers all the details that you would hope to see and all of it looks really nice Okay, let's go ahead and pan it back. The landing gear seemed to be a little out of sync, but I'll, I'll be sure to work. There we go, I fixed it. The tire was just a little off the rim, so that was a pretty easy fix. Right to the aircraft, very similar. You have all the details of what we talked about previously and just a slightly different placement for all of it, but it's all pretty much right there. So all of it looks really nice and that's really great. Be very gentle here. The top of the aircraft looks really nice. Great wing detail, very broad, very, very, very nice. Stan wants it to come out just a little bit, but it's understandable considering that I'm lifting it completely up and beyond. Bottom of the aircraft has some really good detail. You can see all those. They already have that screw pre put into the stand, pre inserted, so that's great. Get the various antennas and all those other features along with the beacon on the bottom there as well. Another awesome aircraft, can't thank my parents enough. This is another super cool one. And once again, feeling very fortunate to add an aircraft like this into the collection, considering obviously that, you know, I don't have many 1-200s, so any 1-200 is a huge score. Just feeling super fortunate and so glad to have this one. And yet again, another very quality offering in the collection right there. Crazy to think that it gets even better than that though, ladies and gentlemen, because it does. The final one that my parents got, again, just extreme generosity. I can barely even get it in the frame, it's so cool. It's the Hawaiian Airlines Boeing 787-9 with the flaps down by Gemini 200. And I mean, I just don't even know what to say besides they were just so nice to do this. So incredible moment right here, just feeling super fortunate to now have this aircraft here in my collection. Obviously, as a family, we went to Hawaii back in the summer and I think her inspiration definitely came from that. So that was once again, really cool. And it's just cool that, and it'll be very similar for the next aircraft too, that some of these aircraft that I really like and I've talked about in videos before, I just end up somehow getting. It's same deal for the one to 400 that I ended up getting from Todd's uh, uh, display that he had at Airlines International. So that one, obviously, you know, I've talked about wanting it. I just never got a chance to get it myself. And I got a great deal on that one. This one, obviously, for birthdays. So just crazy to think about all that. You can see all the beautiful emblems here of the box. You got the Hawaiian on top left, Hawaiian.com on top right. Again, flaps down there on the bottom left. And then you get the beautiful flower there. And you can just see how cool the box is. It's obviously a huge one. So kind of tough to get it all in the frame there. But there is the top. And it's as real as it gets. It's a 2023 release. Yeah, this is really great. I don't even know what to say. It does have a pamphlet, so let's just go ahead and open that for the sake of getting all of it in here. There we go. So there's the specifications along with the write-up of the Hawaiian 78. So again, this is gonna be a really great aircraft, so I'm really excited to see what this one's all about and what are we waiting for? And again, a huge thank you to the parents. They were super nice to do this. But I mean, I don't know what the future of birthdays holds. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to be at home for the birthdays moving forward. So, you know, obviously there's only so many more that we can do as a family. So it was really nice of them to get this aircraft. And I mean, I'm sure they'll still get gifts, but I think they were just trying to make it real meaningful considering that this is towards the end of my childhood and all that. But with regards to the model aircraft aspect obviously will be changing quite a bit so i think they were just trying to reflect on you know the childhood and living in the house and all that with this birthday so i appreciate them doing that but anyway that's enough ramble talk let's just go ahead and get into this so that just shows you how beautiful these aircraft are it just scratched my hand there this is fine not an issue at all so here we go the landing gear once again let's see if i can get these going here so once again, flaps gear up and gear down. This has the flaps down. This is my first 1-200 wide body with flaps down. So that's really cool. So you'll see wing flex by design. So if I ever have a model airport with the 1-200 airplanes, this will definitely be a good opportunity. Looks like there's a little bit of a chip right there, but that's okay. You can barely even see it. 
definitely will, what's it called, want to display this one landing. So let's go ahead and get those landing gear placed where they need to. And I mean, the, just the amount of detail on this one is just unbelievable. So let's just go ahead and get into this, man. This is, this is really, really good. Okay. And the stand as well, which is just really nice. It's a really big wide body one, which is very helpful so that obviously this aircraft isn't falling or whatever happens to it. So I'd like to buy some new 1200s at some point, but I mean, uh, the stands that is, but you know, I mean, $15 does add up quite fast for these, but obviously it's more of an investment than just spending money to spend. I mean, the stands are really good quality and will last a very long time, but I mean, what will last a very long time is this aircraft in my life. <laughs> I mean, golly. So here it is, the Hawaiian 77-9 by Gemini 200. Uh, work of art, this really just shows you what 2024 model aircraft collecting looks like and how fortunate we are to be in the position that we are. So in an upcoming video, you'll see that highlighted for Gemini Dits particularly, but really getting into this aircraft, I mean, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, how can you complain with it? The sun will be back at some point, so I'll sure get lighting when it does arrive, but yeah, that is, that's, that's so nice. So I absolutely love the detail on it. The Hawaiian lay is gorgeous. The lady is just as good. So, I mean, it, this is great. So what are we waiting for? We're not going to waste any additional time. We'll just go ahead and get right into what this aircraft's all about. So here we go. Okay. So first and foremost, you got the beautiful cockpit windows here and you got the nose cone with the radar dome, all those details. They did really well implementing all those. So that's absolutely awesome. And then you got the, I can't see what city that is, but it starts with a K. Pretty cool to see that right there. Boeing 787-9. So of course these recently went into the fleet. Jeff Brooks did an awesome video on it among other YouTubers. So definitely check out the product. It looks really great. Here's the L1 door, which is awesome. And then I think this might be Hawaii flag or equivalent or throwback one or whatever it is. So that's very cool. Here's the Hawaiian billboard titles, obviously with the new font since they updated delivery. And I think that it looks quite nice. I applaud their efforts on it. You got the various panels down here as well. And again, just a beautiful 1-200 offering. You got the beacon here, and then you got the beautiful antenna, which this one's definitely proportional. I think they did a really good job here on the 70 antenna on top, so that's great. So once again, getting into the real details here, you got the first class up here, and then you have the economy plus area followed by the rest of the main cabin. These are flown on pretty long flights. I think they started doing the Phoenix and Vegas flights mainly, so cool to see that. Now getting into the air inlet here, it looks really great. And then you also have a logo of sorts here on the L2 door. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Now you got the beautiful slats, which are beautifully extended here to show you what an aircraft landing looks like. So great detail there. Now look really cool on the shelf, just looking at it for different. And it's like, well, why does it have wing flex? Well, it actually has the flaps down, it's supposed to. And thank you lighting, please come in here and just add some more character to this. I'd appreciate it. You get the beautiful engines right there. I think they're Rolls Royce, I might be wrong. I'm not an expert. I just know that they sound really good so we'll just take that for what it is at this point the main landing gear also look awesome and then once again you got that wing flex i think we're probably at like flaps 20 25 or so on this particular configuration which is very solid so again it is cool these features the interactive series the flaps down it definitely adds substantial value I'm not the biggest fan of the flaps down personally, but it's not an issue. It's that model airport building mindset. So it's one of those deals, but the interactives, I am a huge fan of those. Those have really grown on me and especially that they almost can look seamless at times. So at least for my Polar 1s 200 up there on the shelf, I just looking at it right now, it just looks so cool with the parts. Some Somebody came up here, uh, I don't know when it was this summer, but somebody was like, why are the parts off of it? Like, is it, or somebody asked if it was broken. I was like, I laughed, but obviously they don't know any better. I forgot who it was, but anyway, Anyway, that being said, so you got the flap slats right here and then the flaps extended and then the beautiful wing tip right here, nice and seamless. It feels really nice. So that's great. So cool to see that. You got the main landing gear back there as well. So that's absolutely awesome. And all that looks really nice. Again, the lay, so it starts here in the middle and then it comes down and it expands and all of those characteristics. So very cool to see that and it definitely looks really nice. So L3 door and then you got the stubby Wi-Fi box, which is pretty interesting to see on this aircraft, but I think they did a good job there. So definitely no complaints in that particular regard. So that looks nice. Okay, you got the Dreamliner title right there as well. I think it looks really nice in that purple color. So cool to see that. You got the US flag in the registration of this one's number 780 Hotel Alpha. So great to see that. And again, you get the flowers here. So you got a light purple, a dark purple, a pink, a 
every sub variant that you'd want. There's like five different shades there. So that's pretty cool. Two antennas here in the back. And then that takes us to the L4 door and the beautiful tail right there. It looks absolutely amazing with the various pieces of the puzzle with the beautiful orange flower as well. So definitely stands out to Hawaii. Bring in that light, bring it in. This is our opportunity. We've been waiting on it for 40 minutes. So bring it in, looking really nice. You can see the APU horizontal stabilizers, all the details, it's great. So very happy to see it and it's definitely really cool. Right side of the aircraft as we're finally getting some real light on it we can really finally see it now looks really great i love the detail on it i think they did a really good job adding all those features to it and it looks really nice you got the nose landing gear there make sure that's even out a little bit there we go but again the flaps down look really cool you can definitely get a better view of it here so that's really nice and it's really cool to see how much detail they're able to add to these offerings it's really sweet so now i can finally zoom out and give you some good views here and it looks like that Sears Cloud's finally dead. So don't worry, I'll bring in the other aircraft here in a moment. But yeah, I just really want to take a nice look around on this one because it is gorgeous. And we do have a really great wide body that we'll get a full light review in. But anyway, that looks really great. Absolutely awesome. Super happy to see that. And that's absolutely great. So what a great looking aircraft it is there with the light. So with that, oh, I need to put my F-stop back down. I was wondering why I couldn't quite get the light on there, but there we go. You can tell that that's super nice. Okay. With that being said, now I'm gonna bring back in the other planes that we didn't get a very good chance to look at in good light. First, we're gonna start with the LOT 737 MAX 8. You can see that much better now. There we go, yeah, it just makes all the difference. Lighting's so important. So here it is, really nice, very good job there on the red, that looks really great. So very cool to see that. Let me bring in the Delta 22300. Once again, really nice. You can definitely tell how much effort was put into making that aircraft look nice. So cool to see that. I think the red is also very good. So very good job by them for nailing that down. And then lastly, we're gonna bring back in, oh, that, the, the United was a little shaded too. Let me bring in the United 200 first. Yeah, very nice. Really good job. Love the rising blue or blue tulip is obviously the correct name as we know. Colors to motion, we could talk about that one for a little while. There's like six different names for that and Skittles for spirit and all those, but we'll just put that to the side. We're here to talk about the models right now. And then there is the Herart here, United 757200 which is just as nice. And man, those are gonna look so good on the shelf. I'm gonna put the Hawaiian in the next one probably on the shelf. And I don't even know what I wanna do because I've outgrown my current shelf setup. So I'm gonna have to probably expand another shelf down or maybe just put them all on my desk. But my dad actually broke one, <laughs> surprisingly enough, he broke my Southwest. But luckily the winglet was only bent a little bit. I was able to somehow miraculously pull it together, but a little bent on the winglet, but that's okay. Okay, the stories continue and the jokes. No, I'm just kidding. But here we go. The TWA 747 SP and one to 200, all right. Won this at Spot LEX, crazy. So they had an amazing raffle this year on the rooftop on Friday night. They gave away over 100 1 to 200 offerings by Gemini 200, which is crazy. An additional 30 plus models were given away throughout the weekend too, but 100 on the rooftop by itself. So Spot LEX 2025, if you wanna win a 1 to 200 like I just did, definitely come to the rooftop on Friday night. That is where you're gonna need to be. But anyway, I was the last one called, which is just crazy. So I was thinking towards the end, it's like probably not gonna happen, but feeling very fortunate. And once again, great story here. So the TWA won the 400 SP I got from Todd Models at Kansas City during Airlines International for helping him with this seminar. Now I got this one from Spot LEX. So just all these planes that are really cool that I wouldn't have expected to get otherwise just started flooding into my possession. So again, feeling very fortunate, just crazy to think about. You got the TWA logo there in the beautiful CGI 747 SP. Now this is my second 747-1200. I have the absolutely amazing Polar Air Cargo with the interactive series as I was referring to earlier. So that's cool. This is the 2023 release of this aircraft and it is the American trademark of course. So yeah, let's finish this off strong. I mean, I just feeling very fortunate. I just, I'm not used to getting so many 1 to 200. So I'm a little dumbfounded. So that's why I'll do individual unboxing videos of all these so we can dive a little bit more into it when my composure is a little bit better. But I'm sure this is gonna finish it off. I briefly looked at the others because my mom really wanted me to when I got them, just to express more appreciation, of course, which is more than uh, fair. Of course, wanna do that. But this one I haven't even looked at. It might not even be in here for all I know. So yeah, this is just gonna be, it's gonna be crazy. But I see a tell, so we probably have a model. So let's just put it down, take it up, and there it is. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh man, that's a great, that is fantastic. I don't even know what to say. Another beautiful wide body stand. Uh, I think that this one has the gear as well. So let's do it one more time for good measure. It does have gear up and down. Let's go ahead and take this off. 
let's see here. There we go. And several gear this time. We have five different pieces. Let's go ahead and get those all, and we'll just go ahead and get it. Yeah, oh, that is cool, man. I love the twin stripes livery as well. The final livery is not my favorite, to be completely honest. So this is the best aircraft we could have got here. So again, feeling very fortunate. And I know many other collectors would have absolutely killed for this opportunity as well. So really want to make my presence known on how appreciative I am of this. And once again, feeling very fortunate to have it. So let's get all these landing gear in here so we can go ahead and take a look at this gorgeous aircraft. I lost the nose landing gear, but that's okay. I'm going to find it. Uh, let's see here. Turn that around, very good. And the nose landing gear, where is it? Oh, there it is, it fell in the plastic. Okay, what a gorgeous aircraft. Let me go ahead and get this on the stand and the box put up real quick and we'll just go ahead and dive into it. Man, it is ginormous. Alrighty, everybody, here it is. The Gemini 200, one to 200 scale TWA Boeing 747 SP. Once again, never aircraft I would have expected to get, but feeling very fortunate to have it. This is an incredible moment and really goes to show what generosity can do. And I hope to give back to everybody that I can in the future. Definitely want to do another giveaway sometime and maybe even contribute to like the Spot LEX giveaway as well. So with that being said, an incredible moment. Let's just go ahead and get into details, everyone. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Here's the cockpit windows along with the visor piece right here. And you got the beautiful nose cone. I think they did a really good job on it. Looks really great from glance. You got the Boston Express titles, which is pretty cool. And then you got, of course, all of what's up here. Not sure where First Class, Economy, Economy Plus, and the other products went, but it's somewhere in here, trust me. So there we go. 747 SP, I think got the pitot tube here. This is some sort of fleet code, so cool to see that. And nose landing gear, very nicely detailed and very easy to get in and out as you'd expect. So cool to see that with the cool metallic color and they definitely nailed all the details on that. So very happy to see that. You got the beautiful exit here and then the cockpit hatch as well. You got some more panel details up there and then you got the L1 door and then here come both the red cheat lines, of course, as they make it to the back as they expand. Got the Transworld billboard titles right here. And then of course you got all the details throughout here on the front, which are just awesome. Here's the L1 door, which is absolutely great. And you get the L2 door as well. So love all the detail here. And 747 SP, very stubby, very similar to the 8330-800 Neo that we talked about earlier. At the leading edge of the light here. So that's all really great there for the leading edge wing light, excuse me. So that's cool to see. And then the engine's very nicely detailed. There's the fan blades, which are really cool. They should spin, I would assume. Yes, they do. So very cool to see that. I think this mold got reintegrated into the JC Wings lineup back in like 2021, maybe, or... I think they did a Pan Am maybe, or I'm not sure what it was, but this mold went dormant for a while and now it's back in action as you can see. So cool to see that going very strong there. You got the wing there along with the wing tip, which is very cool. Flap slat and speed brake detail at the main landing gear there looking very strong. So that's really cool in there. Nice metallic, uh, metallic on the body of the landing gear, but also magnetic as well so cool to see that yeah four total doors here on the bottom so there's the third one right there and then you got the beautiful red lines once again the cheat lines are really expanding on twa livery more than others so pretty cool to note that you got the l4 door and the registration number 58201 which is awesome so great to see all the detail put in on that and the beautiful tell you got twa up there you got the u.s flag which is italicized kind of or whatever you want to call it you got the beautiful APU horizontal stabilizer detail, all of what you'd expect. It's very detailed, super nice. You got the air inlet down there too. So great to see all this detail and no doubt really impressive and very happy with the work that they did on it. All right, so the aircraft's just as good. You get that big cargo door right there with a bunch of really individualized panel detail, which is wonderful. So very nice to see that. You got the engines right there as well. And then you get the back door here as well, which also looks amazing. And this aircraft just really speaks for itself. You'll see a better shot of it here in a moment, but very impressed. The top of the aircraft looks really great. Very nice on the details and don't worry about the stand. It's very durable. Bottom, you can see the polish in the main landing gear and the stand hole and all that. Really cool. First real, I think, big time retro aircraft I have in one the 200. I don't think that I have many others. So this is definitely a cool one. Feeling very fortunate, but same deal as the one the 400 and all the other aircraft that we've acquired like this. So what an incredible moment, just feeling amazing right now. And yeah, it just is incredible. How can you even describe it properly? pretty speechless. So that being said, let's go ahead and line these up, take a really good look at them since we got the lighting on our side now and just see what it's all about and really just reflect on this amazing experience right here, everybody.